fantastic um, I am just working away as usual and last week you guys really seemed to enjoy my Kasari uh, kind of overview and you requested more Kasari uh, multi cooker recipes it's actually kind of nice like almost shorts weather so what I'm getting at is that before I know it it will be hot and sweltering in here and the last thing I'm gonna want to do is have my stove going. So one of my recipes that you guys love is my cauliflower oats. And I'm so stoked because I figured out that I can make it right quick in the Kosari slow cooker. So I'm gonna share with you guys the recipe for it. I think it actually comes out better in the Kosari than, um, than it does on the stove. And um, just as kind of an overview of the Kasari and what I've been thinking of it so far, um, I think the food comes out tasting a lot more flavorful um, as far as my soups, all of my recipes that I normally do in my crock pot. When I do them in the Kasari on the soup setting, they just kind of, I don't know, it just, it somehow it intensifies the flavor of the vegetables and everything a lot better, so. You all know I really, but you know that I've really been jiving on lotus, sliced lotus root from H Mart. Sliced lotus root in the Kasari is the way to consume lotus root. If you haven't already, then pressure cooking the lotus root, it just, it just amps it up. I mean, it turns into this savory, flavorful, like um, chewy, it's a little bit chewy. Oh my goodness, it is. The lotus root it has changed my life and in, in my culinary palate, but anyways, I am gonna get all the ingredients together for the cauliflower oats and I will walk you through the recipe, but it's gonna go real quickly. But uh, yeah, I, uh, my flippin' awesome pancake candle is, uh, is dwindling down, so pretty soon I'll transition into more of a, of a springy scent now that March is, March is here. Of course you need, you need your coffee for staying in the morning. Sweet Totoro. <laughs> there he is. All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys all the ingredients. Of course, can't cook without classy, otherwise I'll make a mess all over my, all over my clothes. Here's the Kasari. I mean, you really could use any pressure cooker. This is the only one I personally have ever used. My mom is using the Instapot and likewise loving it. So, um, you know, whatever, to each his own. I'm gonna be using organic cauliflower rice that I get at the club, Costco. Um, you can also use regular cauliflower and just kind of chop it up a little bit. Um, you know, don't lose sleep over finding this stuff, but it is convenient and a good price at Costco. Um, I am also gonna throw in some raisins and a liberal dusting of cinnamon. This is a single serving that I'm making for just me, but you could multiply it for however many people you want to feed. Um, or if you wanna feed yourself multiple times, that's cool too. Um, I'm gonna be using steel cut oats. These are just plain steel cut oats. And then after, after it cooks, I'm gonna just mix in a scoop of the Muscle Farm Organic Plant-Based Performance Protein that I got on iHerb. I'm really enjoying this stuff. I'm gonna be using the vanilla flavor. It is really good. This gives it a nice creamy texture. This is totally unnecessary though. Um, you'd have a delicious meal here, but you would subsequently wanna sweeten it with a sweetener of your choice. But this has stevia in it already, so I don't need to add any additional sweetener. And for this recipe, I'm gonna be using the multi-grain setting on my Kosari, so pretty easy. But as always, I will list all of the ingredients down below in the description box for you guys. Um, so don't worry about um, numbers, you can look there. Um, and if you're interested in getting a Kosari, I will list it down below, it is available on the Amazonian. Speaking of Amazonian, though, um, while I just assemble it here, because it's pretty easy, um, a note about the sunscreen that I'm using. If you missed my vlogs this weekend, you know I'm loving the Hotalabo um, sunscreen. I don't know what Amazon has done with the price. That sunscreen, A, I would never recommend a sunscreen to you guys. It was $50, now it's like 60 bucks on Amazon. 
that sunscreen is not that expensive. I think it's like 14 something. When I originally put the link down below, it was like eight bucks, I swear. I don't know what governed that change. I suppose popularity, but I am really loving that sunscreen. And I would rank order the, the gel-based sunscreens that I've tried thus far um, in this order. Hadalabo is better than Biore because Hadalabo does not have fragrance. Biore has fragrance. Biore UV watery essence is better than Neutrogena Hydro Boost um, SPF gel sunscreen because Neutrogena's like Biore has fragrance, but Neutrogena's also just has the regular American filters that we have here for UVA. Um, so Biore is better in that regard that the UVA filters in the Biore one are um, a little bit more stable, a little bit more long lasting and um, seem to afford better protection against UVA, the wavelength that penetrates deeply into the skin and ages it and rages it. So that's how I would rank order them this, thus far. Hadalabo is number one, Biore number two, Neutrogena number three. Okay, so Neutrogena, they can't do anything about the filters. That's just what is, um, you know, FDA approved here in the US, so that's not their fault. Um, but I wish that they would make the Hydro Boost sunscreen fragrance free, like they did the Hydro Boost gel cream, extra dry sensitive skin. But as far as how it feels, I have tried it out and it feels okay, you know, it feels pretty similar. It's really nice. I can see why you guys like it. But anyways, let's get to assembling here. All right, so you just dump in a exactly a cup of water for one serving. And then I'm going to use a cup and a quarter of rice cauliflower for one serving. I really like this stuff a lot. Um, if you're not so into it, then, you know, use less. But the awesome thing about the Kosari is I love steel cut oats, but nobody loves the cook time that it takes for steel cut oats, right? I mean, there are, it takes extra time and people don't have that. The Kasari, you can get it done right quick. It's a lot faster in the Kasari as compared to just stovetop traditional methods. Okay, and then I don't measure the cinnamon. I really, really love cinnamon. I suppose a teaspoon would be justifiable, but the cinnamon cuts out the kind of cauliflower uh, bitterness, it, it breaks that out. So you definitely want the cinnamon in there. Um, and then I'm just going to throw in some raisins. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to do one serving of the steel cut oats. And that is basically it. All right, there it all is. Oatmeal party of one. And then putting the lid on is quite easy. You just put it on <laughs> and you have the arrow here lining with the unlock and you just turn it and then you make sure the little valvey doodle is down and then when you plug it in he says hello yeah when you plug it in he says hello and, and smiles at you here well actually he's giving you a stern face like what do you want okay so we go to multi-grain and i'm just going to do normal 10 minutes so in 10 minutes i'm going to have steel cut oats and i hit start and it's just kind of singing and everything's coming up to temperature. And then it'll beep once it comes up to temperature and pressure and run for 10 minutes and then it will default to cook warm, to keep warm. But yeah, for convenience sake, at night, I just throw everything in here. And then in the morning, you know how I stumble over to the stove and turn it on to low for my, um, for my Bialetti coffee um, for Totoro? I also just plug this in and get it going. And honestly, by the time I do my um, blog Pilates and do my skincare routine, I mean, 10 minutes is up, right? And by the time I get dressed and come out here to eat, it has not only cooked, but I, um, but then it, it goes, it defaults to keep warm. And I just let it slow release the pressure. I haven't tried quick releasing the pressure, but I'm sure you could do that as well. And it wouldn't really affect things too much because they come out cooked, um, but I let it slow release and that's how the recipe has been coming out just swimmingly. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And in a few minutes, I will show you what comes out, but after it's done, I just mix in the um, protein powder. Well, in the amount of time that I had to uh, deliberate over a responding in an email. Don't you guys just hate writing emails? It's like the task of the day that I just cannot stand. It's like, ugh, please, just. All right, 
so I'm just gonna release the valve and you know it's it's come to slow release so you can see the little red red levers down there and I'm just gonna take it off I've unplugged it Ooh, you're steaming up um, and all right just dumping in a scoop of the protein powder here and I'm just gonna mix here with a spoon I'm gonna zoom on down. This is just a single serving for one. But you guys know me, I'm gonna to top them um, with a little bit of this. Um, let's do organic, 100% reduced fat coconut shreds. It's kind of like, <laughs> like shredded wheat almost. <laughs> and a few more raisins or sultanas, depending on where you are. What, your sort of dried fruit selections are. And a few blueberries, some raspberries. And my latest love, a wrist flick of the Blackstrap Molasses for a little caramely drizzle. Woohoo! And there you have it, a nice steamy bowl of cauliflower oats with uh, blueberries, and this is really good, guys. Um, I'm obsessed with cauliflower oats. If you've been watching my ch channel for any period of time, um, I eat this like basically every day, and I'm really happy that the Kosari has expedited the, uh, the assembly of it. It comes together a lot faster and tastes delicious. So I am ravenoso. I'm going to eat this and get back to work. But I hope you guys uh, are having a great day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.